Sayyam this side from Infosec Train and we are back with few more SOC interview questions. The very first one is how would you monitor hundreds of systems at once? See, monitoring hundreds of systems simultaneously requires the use of efficient tools and techniques. So as a SOC analyst, I would utilize various monitoring tools like Spiceworks, SolarWinds, Landsweeper, you know, and PRTG to keep track of system status, services, and disk space. These tools can provide real-time alerts and notifications, enabling proactive response to potential issues. Additionally, implementing you know a security information and event management system, your SIM system, can help aggregate logs and data from multiple sources, providing a centralized view of network activities. For example, during a large scale of DDoS attack, I would rely on SIM to detect unusual traffic patterns across multiple systems and trigger appropriate response actions to mitigate the attack swiftly. Second question, how long would you wait before deploying a critical update? See, the decision on when to deploy a critical update depends on the situation and the potential impact of the vulnerability. In general, I follow a responsible approach and prioritize testing critical updates in a controlled test environment before deployment in production. This allows us to ensure the update works as expected and does not introduce new issues over there. However, in you know sometimes there is an urgent cases also where a known vulnerability poses a imminent threat right so i might deploy the update immediately over there so to provide an example for that if a zero day vulnerability affecting a widely used application is actively exploited i would work with the team to thoroughly test and deploy the updates with minimum downtime to save whatever system and the next question where would you use an IDS versus an IPS? IDS, like you can say intrusion detection system and your IPS, which is an intrusion pre prevention system. They serve different purposes in network security. An IDS monitor network traffic and system baselines, raising alerts when it detects abnormal behavior on known threats. On the other hand, if you talk about IPS, it takes automated actions to block and prevent suspicious or malicious activities. So for instance, I would use an IDS in a scenario where stealthy monitoring is necessary to gather evidence of unauthorized access or insider threats. However, in a situation where rapid response is crucial, such as a brute force attack or you can say on a critical server, I would rely on an IPS to automatically block the offending IP address and prevent further unauthorized access. That would be it for the day. Thank you.